I'm Father Jack Paziello. Uh, for the past six years, I uh, director of uh, the uh, Latino Leadership Institute and Ignatian Identity at Sacred Heart Center, uh, Richmond, Virginia. I am a Northerner. I uh, grew up, in, I was born and raised in upstate New York, in Rochester, New York, and spent most of my time as a, uh, as a priest in the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits, in uh, New York City, mainly working in education with uh, uh, middle school age uh, kids from uh, uh, both immigrant and uh, uh, African American uh, families back in uh, 2013 to establish uh, a program at Sacred Heart Center, uh, a, a training program, a leadership training program for not people who were in professional roles or uh, had college degrees, but for the folks on the ground, the folks uh, who, uh, who worked in construction or uh, uh, were waiters in restaurants. You cannot be a leader until you know how to lead yourself and not be led around. So with that, I said, okay, I'm gonna try it. I'll come down here. And um, I am so grateful for the opportunity to have lived these six years here in <clears throat> Richmond. Uh, I'm going to miss the community very much so. I'm going to miss the weather here. I, uh, we are enjoying today a uh, 90 degree sunny day and I was on the phone with my sister-in-law just this past uh, Saturday. She was saying they had a snowstorm up north. Uh, that's not something I'm looking forward to going back to. Um, I know that uh, it's it's time for uh, me to um, to retire, um, and I I need uh, some some rest. Um, I have uh, one project of completing a book about the uh, school that uh, the schools that I uh, worked with uh, for 35 years, their educational philosophy, and the success rate of, the, of those schools. Um, but I know that I, uh, I, I'm just, I'm a richer person. I'm a more, I am a more uh, uh, informed, more committed uh, person because of my uh, time here. I've, I've had the experience of um, going with people, with folks to uh, immigration court, um, uh, to hearing their pleas for, um, for, re for getting. Um, uh, Refugee status. Uh, I've uh, I've had co long conversations with lawyers who are doing mainly pro bono work just to help uh, people uh, who are are here simply to escape uh, the uh, the poverty and violence going on in their countries uh, to get a future for their kids. Um, I've I've sat with them and heard uh, listened to their commitment, their dedication to, uh, to to serve these peoples. And uh, that is something that has uh, changed my life. There's been so many people who have, uh, they say, you know, oh, you've been, you've been influenced so many people. I've been influenced by so, so many people um, here in Virginia at the church, at the center, but also uh, uh, in the larger community. During the six years uh, I've been here, uh, people have said, oh, we're so grateful that you for running these classes, I'm so grateful that uh, you know you were uh, you were uh, preaching to us. Uh, I'm so we're so glad that you led our um, our book club. We're so grateful that uh, you uh, accompanied us to uh, immigration court. Uh, all those things. My message is, okay, I did it uh, for a particular length of time. I gave of what I had, uh, and I hope that seeds of what uh, I did and said uh, have uh, remained with you. Sometimes, you know, so, uh, I like the, the work in the garden and uh, I like the plants and, you know, some seeds uh, sprout fast, other seeds take a longer time. Um, and uh, I just hope that what I planted uh, will now flourish in you all. It's, um, it's, I also use the comparison of the uh, um, relay race, you know, uh, and to be successful in a relay race, to really win the prize, it's 
you have to hand over that baton, that stick to the next runner and, and move it on. Each person fills her or his, um, his segment of the race, but you pass it on and it's through the combination of all that the, the goal is accomplished. And that's what I, I'm ready, I'm doing now. I'm handing over that baton to the next ones who will take it over. Um, just in the, uh, something that I found uh, happening a couple of times when in my old job with the schools, I'd run to, into one of my, um, my alumni that I hadn't seen maybe for five, six years. And he would say, uh, Father Jack, you know what really got me where I am now? When I was in the seventh grade, remember when I was, I was acting the way I used to act there, and you said to me this, and I think to myself, I could not remember saying that to him. I hope I did say it, but at least uh, what I must have said because it stuck with him has helped change his life. So um, uh, even though I might not remember, I know there's things that are in all your heads and in your memories. And so I'm very grateful for that because I, I see that as seeds that are planted and now it's your responsibility to um, water those seeds and uh, take care of those plants and don't let them um, become diseased and uh, have them flower. Uh, and uh, you will all be in my prayers and my thoughts. And I hope that uh, if you anyone gets up to, um, up to the South Bronx, uh, up near Fordham University, we always have, um, we always have some uh, free guest rooms up there because siempre mi casa es tu casa. Thanks.